Hello fellow agents and this is the Burger Gate welcoming you to another review that I'm doing today which is a Lego Star Wars Force Awakens Ray Speeder which is set 75099 this set comes with 103 pieces and the age range is 7012 and this set roughly is about 15 to 20 dollars depending on where you're getting it or where it is usually on where you get it for USD basically but um, it comes with two minifigures, one vehicle, and one looking, one awesome looking villain for a cheap side, I guess. In my opinion, I don't know if it's really a villain, but it says thug, thug life, but yeah. So, let's go ahead and look at the box, the minifigure, then the vehicle that you get in the set. So let's go ahead and do it right now. So, this is the box of the set. Not much to explain, not like the aspects it shows over here. It says Disney, since obviously it's um, Disney now on Star Wars. Shows Ray on her speeder with her little um, head covering ninja like thing because it kind of looks like that with some of these stormtrooper like goggle pieces, which is awesome. Which is a prop from the film, which is a really awesome thing. So that you get these two minifigures, obviously. And obviously, it has a cool looking thing of Kylo Ren right on here in the old Star Wars logo from the 2007 2008 set. Thank you, Pumpkin Bricks, for actually. I'm um, telling me about that since it's pretty neat actually. Inside the box, not much, just this old Star Wars logo that Lego used in 2007 and 2008. If we flip it to the back, it shows like the features of the set, shows like the stuff that you can do, shows like the thing that you can do with Ray, shows what kind of um, weapons comes in this set, which is quite neat actually, I don't mind. Shows what you can do with this little canister that's in the speeder, which I'll go on that soon. And I also like how it shows this little design thing that's like x-ray, like vision type thing for the speeder. Which is pretty cool actually, I do like it. On the side of the box it shows obviously Ray and the Umkarak um, um, or whatever thug, which is pretty neat. I guess I'll call it the thug, but that's basically it for the box. Let's go ahead and look at the minifigures right now. So, for the first minifigure that we're going in the set would be Rey. Rey is obviously a new character to the new Star Wars trilogy, which is kind of neat. She is kind of like a, I guess to say, like the new Luke Skywalker, but for female usually. She obviously has this like little helmet piece, which is nice. It It's like a ninja, like stormtrooper thing, at least in my opinion, but it's obviously for the desert, which is nice. And yes, she has a face, which is kind of neat on here. It's kind of freckly, I guess I can say as well. But this is her angry face, obviously. If you go to the back, this is her happy face. Or like glad face, but... And also she comes with some hair on in the set. I don't know if it's really sh like movie accurate, but it's still kind of neat with like the design over here. It kind of looks like a Princess Leia like hair design in a way. But it's pretty cool in any way. So let's go ahead and look at the thug. So this is the thug. I have no idea what they're actually called. I think I'm going to try and say it an Ernicras or Ernicars thug. I think that's how you pronounce it right. But yeah, this is kind of a cool looking figure actually. I do like the color scheme of gray and it has some like desert look to it since it's probably like sand and other types like that. I do like it. That has a golden crowbar. And I actually do like that as like a robotic like face to it, which is quite interesting, at least in my opinion. It, it's interesting, it's pretty neat. Dang it. Focus. Alright, I have it focused on the face. It's like a darker gray, which is kind of neat. It's hard to tell, judging by like the lighting I have, but it's like a darker gray. It looks pretty cool in my opinion, and... It's like a gunmetal gray, but it looks very robotic. I don't know if this is an actual droid or something like that, but it's pretty cool. So yeah, sorry about that, but this is how it looks. It's a pretty cool figure, and that's it. So let's go ahead and look at Ray's speeder. So this is Ray's speeder that we have here. I've saved Ray on here with her hair at this time, but this was quite simple to build. Not very hard, but the building style of it was fun and how unique it looks. Obviously it comes from like the film Star Wars Force Awakens. Obviously I made a mistake with the stickers as you can tell, but it's not that big of a mistake, but it doesn't detract like the style or whatever. Oh and I forgot to mention this for um 
the going over the minifigure, she obviously has her staff. She obviously has this little chainsaw piece, goggles, and this little gun piece as well, as you can see right here. The vehicle as well is like a dark red, like a metro red for Bionicle fans who are watching my channel type of color, which is quite neat. And I actually do like it like that. It's not that bad. It doesn't detract anything from the set. It obviously has a few stickers, like I said, here, here, here. And so over here, and over here, and I think on both of these. Oh, and I forgot to mention, probably this one over here, but I probably already did. But the stickers aren't that hard to put on, so I have no issue with the stickers. The only problem I had with building this set was, I guess, like these engine parts. I know it's quite simple, it looks, but... There, there's more than this that actually goes into building it. That's why it has this opening feature usually, which now that I'm going over it, I guess I'll show you. So yeah, it has this opening feature. It can open all the way, which is quite neat. And obviously it has this little container. There's nothing really in this container, just like an empty container. I tried to put Ray's helmet in here, or mask. Does not work at all for some reason, but you can at least if you don't want to use that, try to pro possibly, I guess, put the mask or something in there. Then just close it up. Or, and if you want to open it again, just use this. And voila, the mask is out. But yeah. And also, this is obviously where you can open these two little hatches, which is a nice design that LEGO did for the set. And obviously, you can slide this thing back in here. And this little um, hollow part to make it full again, which is quite interesting. I think it's like trying to mimic like an engine. I could be wrong. It's kind of hard to put this in here. Like you have to slide it carefully in here, so it won't fit very well. Okay, I got the little piece engine piece in there, or that bucket piece, or whatever it's called. I also do like this. I think this is probably kind of T well, not TV series accurate, but movie accurate. Obviously, since we see in the toys and all the types like that for a speeder, but this little engine part, it's pretty cool. It's possibly like the biggest part of the speeder and the coolest part, but not that much to explain. It looks pretty accurate. And I don't know if Ray speeder has like turrets or anything else on it. Probably don't, but it has two of these little, um, not flick firing things, but like energy or whatever releasing type pistols or whatever they're called for this. But I'm not going to shoot any out, but they come with like a metro red or dark red suds, which is quite neat. I like it. Another cool thing too is that it comes with two of these four little translucent cheese slow pieces, which I like. And if we take Ray out of the cockpit, you can see that it has some, like this is an actual sticker, but the sticker is actually Pretty neat, actually. I like how it looks. It's mostly, like, it's supposed to mimic, like, a red type of thing. I have no idea, but it's like a control center. And then, obviously, you can put Ray in there, like so. And there's not much to go over with that. There are obviously is some open pins and joints, which is fine for Star Wars sets, since we usually do get them. It's like I was trying to fit, like, the price range for the set, but obviously... It's okay. It's an okay looking speeder. Probably judging by the minifigure size, I guess I'll take Ray out. Yeah, the speeder looks a little bit bigger than the figure. I think for the Hasbro version, I think this will actually fit the figure. And it's basically about, yeah, this thing is basically about the size of probably half the size, of, or yeah, half the size of Ray, or probably the size of Ray, but. Uh, at least it's a pretty cool model, even though that's not completely accurate to the movie, or completely size accurate. It's kind of neat, so there's not much explained there. There's not much also on the side, or on the back or bottom of the set. Let, we see basically these two little um, clear, translucent clear, or whatever they're called, round slope pieces, which, not slope pieces, but round tile pieces, which is nice, but they can fit to the bottom, make it look like it's hovering, which is kind of neat, done during the set, which I like how they added those, because they're really nice pieces anyway, but that's basically it for my review, let's go ahead and go into my final thoughts on the set right now.
my final thoughts on this set is that it's a okay set. There are other licensed theme sets that have probably more pieces than, the, than this and more minifigures, but for like the price range of $20, uh, it's a okay set for $20. If you're a Star Wars fan, I recommend you to get it, or if you're excited for the new Star Wars Force Awakens movie, I still recommend you to get it. It's not that bad. There's no cons or pros I have it, basically, for it. Except maybe its size is probably its only con, but nothing else. Most of it's good, and probably the open joints, but I'm not picky about that. But the set, like the rest of the set's perfectly fine. But for, like, the price, eh, $20, it's okay, but not great. Like I said, it's okay, but not great. The reason why it's okay is because usually $20 sets do have more minifigures and probably more stuff that you can play around with and more stuff that you can do brick films with. But for this one, for 123 pieces, you only get one vehicle, two minifigures, not three, not two vehicles, but it's fine for the price. If, like I said, if you're if, if you're a big core Lego Star Wars fan or Star Wars fan, pick it up. Or if you're just excited for the new Force Awakens movie like I am, I'm obviously a Star Wars fan as well, and I'm excited for the movie. As well. But that's basically it for my set, or my thoughts for the set. The only thing that I forgot to mention was the rating. I would probably rate this set a 7 out of 10. The reason why I will rate it a, a 7 out of 10 is because this one con, there's some open all um, parts on the set, which this is fine, but these, uh, that's kind of a little bit iffy to me. It, it doesn't look very good at all. Um, another thing that I have to mention is the price. $20? Eh. Th th this would be better if it was like a Ninjago set, because I don't understand, but for a Star Wars set, eh, not, I'm not very used to that price for $20. For two minifigures and just one small vehicle. Yes, because the vehicle is actually small, to be honest. One other thing, too, I have to mention would be that this the set needs one more minifigure. Just one more minifigure, or one more little mini build. Then I think it'll make it better. But I'm not going to complain too much, because it's not that bad, but it's perfectly fine. Oh, and I just shook the camera, but it's, it's perfectly fine. I have nothing else to say about it. It's good. But that's those are my only three little cons for the set to why it's a 7 out of 10. The rest, perfectly fine. And their age range, perfectly fine. Obviously, Star Wars fans are older, or, or, are older so that they'd actually pick the set up. But that's basically it for my actual final thoughts. And I hope you guys enjoyed this re review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And subscribe because I'm going to do Brick Films 2016. And I'm promising that I'm going to have my Titanium Agent movie out by... 2016. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I've been working very hard on it. So yeah, and also check out my other videos too that are that are on the tags on this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this movie or not movie but review. So yep, and hopefully you guys are excited for the movie because I'm obviously not going to see it on opening day. But I'm going to see it soon. But that's basically it. See you guys there. Bye.